Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Progressive Web App for WooCommerce. So uh, basically this plugin will convert your WooCommerce web store into a Progressive Web App instantly and the store visitors will experience the high performance benefits of the Progressive Web App which is based on a headless architecture. The users will be able to come back to your web store by launching the app from their mobile home screens and can interact with your web store through an app-like interface. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how uh, this uh, extension basically works. And please note that your website must be HTTPS enabled for the proper working of this extension. Otherwise, the extension won't work on your website. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, extension basically works. And for that, what we'll do is uh, initially we'll go to the admin backend uh, panel and we'll see what the different configuration settings are there for the uh, progressive web app extension and after that we'll uh, uh, take you to the front end uh, working of this extension in the next video as well so in today's video tutorial we'll be talking about the backend configuration settings of the progressive web app application for woocommerce so uh, let's get to the admin backend panel so here i am in the uh, admin backend panel of woocommerce right now and here on the left hand side after you uh, properly install this extension you'll have the progressive web app menu option on the left hand side and uh, here we have a number of options uh, or menu options for uh, different uh, uh, different uh, for creating uh, for example the banners the featured products the featured categories uh, for the push notifications we have the options we have external links and we have the settings so the very first thing that we'll uh, check is the settings for this particular extension so uh, let me take you to the settings page so here we are at the uh, settings uh, configuration page for the progressive web app application in the admin backend panel so under the configuration options here uh, we have a number of options here and the very first is the configuration then we have the uh, settings for the mobile application and then we have the uh, options for the uh, media so we'll go through each of them one by one so the very first is the configuration so very first option that we see here is the google authorization key now here you need to enter the google authorization key uh, that will be used for sending the push notifications so you can get the google authorization key uh, by registering yourself at the google there and after that you can uh, get your uh, google authorization key after that we have the user id now here you need to enter the user id and you can make uh, use of any username and basically it's used for the security purposes so you can set it up uh, as per your name uh, as per your uh, requirement there so the user id can be anything that you want so for this particular example we'll just set it up as movie cool and uh, you'll set the password and uh, you'll set the password for the user id that you have entered here so the password would be anything that you want so the user and the password are user dependent so you can uh, add the user id and the password as per your own requirement and the google authorization key you need to get it from the google there after registering yourself so as to send in the push notifications so the google authorization key is for the push notifications now for the mobile application section the admin will enter the uh, initially the admin has to enter the name and uh, that's with, visible within the progressive web app so whatever name you enter here would be visible within the splash screen of the progressive web app so uh, after that we have the uh, short name so here you need to enter the short name for the app shortcut that would be visible on the mobile device so after a customer has added the shortcut to their mobile device whatever short name that you have entered here would be visible on the icon of the pwa on the mobile device itself then we have the theme color so here you need to choose the theme color you can tap it and after that you can choose any of the colors that you want to set for the theme color of your uh, uh, progressive web app and uh, the uh, theme color uh, for the splash screen is visible on the mobile device itself after that we have the background color now here you need to choose the background color for the splash screen so it's the same so here you can choose the background color for the uh, splash screen and it would also be visible on the mobile device itself and uh, 
lastly we have uh, the media section and here we have a number of icons that need to be uploaded having different uh, dimensions here you can see 48 by 48 96 by 96 144 by 44 and 196 by 196 and these are the app icons basically so here the admin has to upload the app icons of different sizes as have been mentioned here so these would be used for your progressive web app itself so after you've done all these uh, configuration settings like the uh, first the configuration then the mobile application name short name theme background color and you've uploaded the media icons here you just need to save the settings so that's uh, much about the main configuration settings of this extension and after that uh, the admin can uh, proceed further and can add the banners that would be visible within the uh, progressive web app so uh, uh, let's get ahead and here you can see under the banner section uh, the admin can find all the banners that the admin has added and to add a new banner the admin can tap here on the add banner uh, button apart from that the admin can also make bulk actions like he can delete all of the banners that the admin has already added and the admin can also edit any of the banners that he has created so to add a new banner the admin has to tap the add banner button and this brings up the section to add a new banner now uh, now to add a new banner the admin needs to upload an image for the banner here so you can uh, upload an image for your particular banner then you can select the uh, type of the banner now the type of the banner can be uh, for the product or the categories so if you have selected the banner tag as product then you need to select the particular product for which you need to create the banner otherwise if you select the banner type as category then under the product category uh, option here you need to select category for this particular banner lastly you can set up the uh, status for this particular banner as enabled or disabled uh, as per your own requirement then you can tap the save button and this would save the banner and after that you can find this banner under your under, uh, under the app banner section here so that banner the, the banner that you've added will get listed here under the app banner section now we have the featured products so let's go to the features product section let me open that up so uh, under this section uh, the admin can set up the apps uh, featured products so uh, after setting up the uh, featured product the featured products will be visible under the featured section within the progressive web app itself so uh, to add a new uh, app featured product the app can tap the app add product button and this brings up the section to add the featured products for the progressive web app so basically what it does is it uh, navigates you to the uh, product section and here you can see all of the products that have been that are there within the store will get listed here now uh, to make a particular product as a uh, feature what you need to do is you need to enable the featured icon under the star column so here you have this star column and to make any of the uh, products as featured you just need to tap the icon that's uh, that's here so you'll tap this icon and this product will be added as a, what we say as a featured product so that was about how to add featured products now let's get back to the progressive web app menu option so we are done with the banners the featured products now let's go to the featured categories let me open this up for you so uh as the featured category the admin can set up the featured categories that would be shown within the progressive web, web app itself Apart from that, the admin would be able to delete any of the added categories individually or in mass by first selecting the categories and then from the bulk actions, the admin can select the trash option and can apply to delete the added app categories. To add a new category or to add a new featured category, the admin needs to tap the add featured category button and this brings up this section to add a new category. So here, uh, the admin will set the sort order for the uh, what we say as the featured category. So uh, uh, using the sort order, the admin can uh, place the particular category at his uh, as required on the uh, progressive web app itself. 
so you can set up the sort order for the uh, uh, for the featured category first and after that you need to select the category under the category option here so from the drop down you can select any of the categories and then you can save the status for this particular category as enabled and you'll save this category after saving the category the featured category gets listed under your featured category section here so that was about the uh, featured category now let's go to the notification section now under the notification section uh, basically this uh, feature would be soon available but uh, the admin can set up the various app notifications so here the admin can find a list of already added uh, uh, notifications for the app homepage if he has added any and the admin will also delete and send the notifications in bulk by first selecting the uh, notifications and then using the trash to delete or selecting the send bulk notifications to send the bulk notifications from the actions drop down and then uh, tapping the apply button so to add a new uh, uh, notification the admin needs to tap the add notification button and this brings up this section as you can see here and to add a new notification you first need to upload an image for the uh, notification then you set up the uh, title for the notification you can set the content of the notification as well and then you will select the type of the notification so here you can select the notification type as product or category if selected as product that you can select the particular product for which you are creating the uh, uh, push notification otherwise if you select it under the type if you under the type you have selected category then you need to select the particular category for the push notification and lastly you can select the status as enabled or disabled for this particular uh, uh, push notification that you're trying to create and after that you can tap the save button to save this particular uh, push notification and then the notification would get listed here under the notification section then we have the external links and here the admin would be able to add external links now the external links are actually linking to the external resources like the company website privacy policy blog etc so to add an external link the admin can tap the add row button and this brings up a link section wherein first you need to enter the title of the link and then you can set up the link for the title that you have entered for example here you can see that we have added webcool and as the title and the link is webcool.com so whenever this uh, link is uh, tapped on the progressive web app site panel the customer would be uh, navigated to the webcool.com website and similarly if uh, the customer taps on the blog section he will be navigated to the blog section otherwise if he selects uh, the privacy policy then the customer would be navigated to the privacy policy link that uh, the admin has added from the admin backend panel after that you can tap the save changes button to save the changes so uh, let me give in uh, just a little bit of gist about how these things would appear on the uh, on the uh, progressive web app itself uh, but you don't have to worry in the coming video I'll be showing you the front end the complete front end of the uh, progressive web app itself so uh, what you need to do is uh, I'll just take you to the blog of this particular uh, extension so uh, here is how the progressive web app would appear on your screen uh, hey, on these three lines you can on these line on these horizontal lines you can tap to bring out the side panel that has all the links and the categories uh, visible here you can see the popular products listed and uh, you can uh, also see the new products that uh, you have added that would also be uh, listed here you have the trending products you have the featured products and uh, and the other options as well so uh, after you tap these uh, four lines uh, let me show you how you can uh, find the, uh, uh, the, 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 the the external links that we had added so the uh, external links would appear under the others like the web pool the movie pool the privacy policy the blog that we tried to add and here you can also see the different categories of your uh, web store and uh, you can also try and sign in from this section so uh, that was much about the uh, progressive web app for WooCommerce and I have showed you how uh, the uh, admin would be able to configure the progressive web app for WooCommerce 
and uh, for his own website and after configuring the uh, progressive web app the web app would be uh, available to the customers at the front end so uh, in the next video i'll be showing you the uh, front end working of the uh, progressive web app for woocommerce hope this video uh, helped you out and if you have any uh, questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.umidas.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead Thank you.